it's a UFC bantamweight division fight. Well, if you choose to stand on a napkin in the center of the octagon and stand and trade with this young man, you're playing with fire. Frightening knockout power. Go look at the highlight reel. As good a reel as anybody in the sport, you can be sure he'll be looking to find a home for those heavy hands early and often. You do not want to get in a slugfest with this young contender, I can assure you of that. So here he is, folks. The wait is nearly over for this one. Unquestionably a rivalry fight. These guys have really stolen the show during fight week. John hit each other at the weigh-in. No love lost between these two fighters. Only one man can have his hand raised here tonight. Let's see who can bottle the emotions and produce here on the world's biggest stage. This guy is very well-rounded. He literally has no weaknesses in his game. He is technical in all areas of mixed martial arts. And now our tale of the tape for this Bantamweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with the same height and some differences in reach. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Seoul, South Korea, international. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of seven wins, no losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Kinshasa, Congo, Bam Bam. Here we go. He wanted this. I'm giving it to him. No, I am not touching gloves because you disrespected me coming into this fight. Oh, look at that. Busting out new moves for you. You weren't even ready for it. I have progressed. I have evolved since we last met. But that power is still there. Okay. Oh, and you, you ain't learned? You ain't learned about me? Now, my fighter info said he can't be knocked down. I'm going to test that and try to knock this dude down if he throws more of those. All right, he got a little bit of power. Oh, shit. Okay. He's coming out for real. He's coming out for real. All right, I got to be ready for those. All right, let's take this down. Oh, he's ready for it. All right, we got to fight. We got to fight. Come on. I told you to stop. I don't care if you can't be knocked down. You're going to get knocked down. You're going to get fucking knocked down. You're going to get knocked down. Oh, he really don't want to be knocked down. Come on, throw it. Throw another one. Oh, you too far back. You better be ready for these hands, boy. You better be ready for these. I said stop. Knock him down. He's okay. He don't want to go down, but we're going to put him down. Oh, that hurt, didn't it? That hurt, didn't it? Woo! It's a fight. It is a fight. I blocked that. Come on. All right, I'm about to squash banana this dude. There we go. Oh, he don't want to go. You're going down. What? How the... This dude's... A, come on, you bitch. This dude does not want to go down. You're going to get knocked the fuck out. I told you you weren't ready for this. You weren't ready. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. I eat those. I eat those. Come on, squash banana. Here you go. Bitch, I told you. It don't matter if the fight info say he can't be knocked down. If he can't get knocked down, he's getting knocked out. This is a waste of my time, this rematch, man. He won't ready for this. Quick work. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 42 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. If he wasn't humbled then, he is humbled now. Do not challenge me no more. That's two fights. Two fights where I'd improve 
You are not better than me. The most intoxicating word in the world of mixed martial arts is potential. Every fighter starts out with a clean slate and lofty dreams. But fight by fight, the talent pool shrinks. And only a select few will rise to the top in the UFC. You've done your part so far, growing your fan following while earning the respect of your peers in the octagon, stamping yourself as a fighter on the fast track to a championship. But even now, it's clear that this taste of success will either push you to greater heights or send you tumbling, making your winning streak a distant memory. Which path will you choose? Coming up next, it's a UFC bantamweight division fight. Well, no doubt this young man is preparing to unleash some devastating kicks on his opponent tonight. You talk about guys like Thiago Alves, Jose Aldo Jr., the kicks on this young man, absolutely powerful. He can do major damage, too, just by landing a couple of them. You've seen fights of his where he lands one kick to the body, one to that lead leg, and you get an immediate welter bruise. Really as powerful a kicker as we've seen in the UFC in some time. You know, we trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts, maybe more than we should, but this guy fits the bill. Maybe doesn't stand out in any one area on film, but plus skills everywhere. And you gotta think tonight, Joe, with his skill set, he's more than comfortable really anywhere this fight goes. If he needs to stand and strike, he can do it. If the fight hits the canvas, he can submit you. A lot of different skills brought to the table by this young man. Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight fight. Four years apart, and they have the same height and reach. All right. This guy. This guy ain't ready. Oh! Whoa! Whoa, boy. Whoa. You better learn about me. You better learn about me. I like when people throw leg kicks. What the fuck was that? Uh-huh. Oh, I'm going to go to the body if you don't want to protect it. I'll go to the body. And then I throw one of these famous squash bananas at you. You better learn about them. All right. One, two. Go high and low. Woo! You weren't ready. Oh, uh-huh. Uppercut. You didn't like that. Here we come. Here we go. Here we go. All right. He's ready for it. Throw them jabs. Woo! Ah, uh, okay. All right. This guy, he might be for real. I lied. Because that squash banana come out of nowhere and catch you off guard. You don't know what to do. To All right. Don't throw that no more. Told you. told you. I told you. Get up. Get up. I told you. Don't do it. Get up. Nope. Come here. Come here. Throw it again. Throw it again. I told you. Stop doing that. I told you. Get up. Get up. Here it come. Here it come. Throw another one. Throw another one. Woo! Okay. He's throwing one of his own now. Oh, he upset. He upset. <laughs> Bitch. Keep throwing him. Keep throwing him. Just keep throwing him. Woo! Oh, that hurt a little bit. That hurt a little bit. That one did too. I told you to stop it. I'm, I'm going to let you think about it. I'm going to let you think about it. I'm taunting on you. You ain't nothing to me. Come on. That don't hurt. I'm going to let you live a little bit. I'm going to let you have. I'm going to let you have those. You want to keep throwing them? You want to keep throwing them? I'm strong, boy. You don't know about me? God damn it. Stop. He was not prepared he didn't watch any film he didn't know who i was he was like oh this yellow bum i'm just gonna go in there and and throw hands with him no that's your worst mistake look at that i'm strong boy right overhand ladies and gentlemen referee mario yamasaki is called to stop to this contest 
at three minutes, 43 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bam Bam. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward.